Hi, my name is Ian and I'm the creator of Mars First Logistics, an open world physics sim about building rovers and piloting them across the surface of Mars, which I'm making with a small team. In this video, I'll try and give you a sense of what to expect from our game. In Mars First Logistics, it's your job to help grow a burgeoning space colony by transporting cargo between stations using vehicles you build yourself. Let's jump in and do a delivery and I'll talk you through it. Contracts are what we call our cargo delivery missions. We can see our available contracts from the map. These are a mix of hand-designed main contracts and procedurally generated side contracts. This one is close by, so let's accept it. Now we just have to follow the marker to collect our cargo. Our current rover isn't really built to carry this steel beam, so we'll need to design something new. This is the editor, where you'll probably spend a lot of time building and refining your designs. As you play, you'll unlock new blueprints, which are pre-designed vehicles you can build. These are often very specialized designs that showcase a new part. We don't have a blueprint that will work for this cargo, so let's build something from scratch. Here I'm using a servo motor to create an arm and a hydraulic cylinder to create a grabber. I need a few more connector parts, so I'll spend some funds to buy them. Sometimes you might not be able to afford all the parts you need and we'll have to get creative with what you have on hand. Let's give our new vehicle a quick paint job to finish it off. Now is a good time to explain how the controls work. I've got two things I can control on this vehicle, the servo motor and the hydraulic cylinder. They're both controlled with the same buttons, but are assigned to different channels, which lets me control them independently, simply by switching channels much like switching weapons in a shooter. This drive is fairly short and flat, but the landscape can be challenging. It's always a good idea to plan your route beforehand. And here we are at the destination. We just need to place the cargo in the delivery zone to finish. As you help the colonists finish their construction projects, you'll be rewarded with new parts and blueprints. There are a number of construction projects to complete in the game. I hope that's given you an idea of how the game plays. Thanks for watching, and please give it a wish list on Steam if it looks appealing.